Oh, man. I hate doing this. Don't you hate, like, saying when you're wrong? <laughs> when you get some information and you run with it? <laughs> I do. But I know the Demon 170 owners are going to be like this. I told you he was wrong. I told you he was wrong. They're going to be in the comments. I already know. I already know. And it's okay. It's It's cool. It's cool. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. Before we get into today's video, I've got to talk about the sponsors here at the channel, and that is Morgan & Morgan Attorneys of Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, you're not going to find any larger than Morgan & Morgan handling over 20 million phone calls in only 2023 alone. That is a lot of phone calls. Uh, when they put it on the billboard that size matters, they mean it. If you go into war, go into battle with a big insurance company, you want a big law firm that can match them step for step, they can definitely do that. You can get started in eight clicks or less from any smartphone by going to ForThePeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. Again, that's ForThePeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. Okay, so I reported, I don't know what, a couple of days ago that there were 11 Demon 170s that had significant engine issues right um, and this is coming from dealer sources uh, people that I trust that that give me this information from one of the largest I, I actually I think they may be the largest auto group in the country at this point I've made some uh, interesting uh, friends over the last few months needless to say um, they're not happy about what's going on with the demon 170 because uh, they are kind of like looking like they're left to hold the bag. But I have some facts that I want to clarify. Um, are there still 11 Demon 170s that have an engine issue in uh, dealerships? Yes. Is there another seven that are being diagnosed right now by what they call field engineers? Yes. Um, so I got two things. I had a, there's evidently a field engineer that is subscribed here to the channel reaches out. And of course, you know, anybody can email me anything. And without me verifying who that person is, I'm like, fuck out of here. Um, obviously, I'm not going to say who the person is, but he did hit me up and he's looked at three this week. A field engineer. Now, I don't think they're supposed to be talking to people like me, but whatever. He said, I just want to make sure that we clarify some of these facts. He goes, because I think I know about two of the demons that you're talking about. And he was right. Two of the ones that the dealership said were going to get an engine replacement are actually, actually, um, let's see. One is actually not an engine replacement. It's a, a, a balancer. And the other one has... Um, leak down, or he says, being qu quoted as excessive leak down, um, but they don't know if it's going to require an engine replacement. So that's two. Okay. So we could say nine maybe, and we don't know if they're going to get replaced. Um, of the other seven that I talked about previously, uh, it looks like those have Three of those are already at, at the same major auto group, have spark plug gap issues, and how they're going to uh, address it is replace the plugs and see if that fixes the issue. That's three of those seven. Uh, let's see, engine replacements. We know about the one which is Racer X's, right? Um, we know about the one which we saw here on YouTube recently that oil leak, I believe. Camacat, another YouTuber, posted uh, him having en uh, engine issues with his. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, and two of them have significant. Um, two of them have significant catalytic converter issues, um, which they don't feel. They at this point don't feel. The engineer says 
they don't feel it's the engine, it's catalytic converters, and they're waiting on those to come in to see if that fixes the issue. Me personally, I just delete them, but hey, I don't want the EPA coming to kick my door down. But um, it is what it is. Um, da, da, da. On engine replacements, yeah, so we have, so outside of the balancer, that I talked about the other one that they know that they got to replace. Evidently, there's another one that had a balancing failure. Um, and one that didn't break until it had 4,800 miles on it. So I guess that's a positive, I guess, right? For something over 4,800 miles of heavy use. They didn't describe what that is. They didn't say if it was track use or there were, you know doing stolen z06 stuff on the street I, I don't know um that's just what i got now so in that case i can say that um the initial information that i got from dealerships is not completely accurate for me i like to be completely accurate as somebody that's worked in intelligence for 20 plus years <laughs> of my life for me uh information is important and it's key and it has to be accurate for it to be usable. And uh, today I wanted to address that and get into some of the things uh, on this for the Demon 170. Is this still positive information? Yes, it means that there may only be four or five grenaded engines right now, and the rest could be catalytic converter issues, spark plug issues. Who the hell puts this type of spark plug in that car anyway? for what it's selling for why is there not a you know what it doesn't matter i'm not going to get into the engineering side or what they should have done when they built it but other things that should have been done on i will say one thing that 100 percent should have should be done on, done on the scar or should be added or whatever is um there should be some more protection for oil starvation put on these engines uh you know i just I feel like this is going to be a continued thing for people that actually track them, for people that drive them or go to events, maybe not so much, but if you really are going to use the car as intended, I feel like you're going to have some issues uh, down the road with oil starvation. I do. And that's just from talking to other people who have done oil changes already, like engines are okay, but... And not like Racer X's where there was glitter everywhere in it, but getting a couple of tiny pieces of metal out of your oil is a very uneasy feeling. And I've had multiple Demon 170 owners email me photos, send me what their experience was, and they're using the car as intended. They're not dragging it every weekend. They're taking it out like once a month and having fun. They're not professionals. They're not wearing fire suits. They're wearing a helmet and they're having fun at their local track, okay? They're not trying to go for seven seconds or eight seconds. They're just having fun with the car, running maybe tens, right? 10.1, 10.5. They're not, they're not doing anything crazy with the Demon 17. That said, um, I wanted to correct the record and give you the accurate information that I have. And here's how I also know that the information that I got from this engineer, um, uh, that I got from this engineer is also correct. Because I also got hit up by other people in the Mopar community that know other people at Dodge and somebody else at Dodge uh, who's not a higher up. They just work, uh, I'm, but they work in corporate. They don't build cars or anything. Hit me up and said the same thing. Evidently, there's people at the top of Dodge who are unhappy with the information that I reported. And I can understand why, because it's going to massively affect the value of the vehicle. I, I get it. If people share it, it's going to hurt. Um, and for me, like I said, information is key and I want to put the information out there accurately. And some of the information that I talked about, like the two cars with the balancers, one that has a complete engine replacement, um, and the one that has like 4,800 miles, uh, racer X's and there's a couple other ones, but so is there 11 getting replaced? Nope. But we know five right now. And another three, possibly four, that could be a yes. So that's nine, not 11. Um, and we have 
you know, the cat issues and a couple other ones, but, and the oil leak. Um, and I got to follow up with Cam Cat's video. I don't know it, what happened if he, uh, if his had a significant problem or not, or if it was just spark plugs or whatever. I'll follow up with that and check that out too, but it'll be interesting to see guys that I know personally that run these cars, uh, event after event, the Kevin Van Voris's of the world, Racer X when he gets his back, if, um, you know, demonology, if they're going to uh, stand up to the daily abuse that these cars are going to take. Uh, and how long Dodge is going to honor the warranties on these. It's going to be interesting to see what the parent company Stellantis does. Um, are they going to come out with another issue or another solution to maybe make sure the engines are lubricated better? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, like I said, I wanted to correct the record. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, as always, stay petty, my friends.